During the NATO summit on July 11, 2024, the British Prime Minister announced a substantial commitment of over $1.22 billion by the International Fund for Ukraine, IFU, a significant boost in international military aid to Ukraine amid the ongoing Russian invasion. Central to this commitment is a major $367 million contract for the production of 152mm artillery shells, specifically designed for Ukraine's Soviet-era cannons, which will see the delivery of 120,000 newly manufactured shells over the next 18 months. This effort reflects the IFU's objective to rapidly meet Ukraine's military needs through targeted support. This artillery contract is not just about supplying ammunition, it aims to bolster European industrial capacity, ensuring that reliable supply chains are in place for Ukraine's long-term needs. The artillery shells are critical for replenishing Ukrainian reserves, as Ukraine has faced supply shortages while relying on Soviet-era systems. Launched in 2022 by the UK and Denmark, the IFU has grown into a central mechanism for coordinating military assistance to Ukraine. Managed by the UK's Defense Equipment and Support DENS, Rapid Procurement Team, the fund pools contributions from multiple countries, facilitating the timely purchase of vital military supplies. The fund's impact has been amplified by recent contributions from countries such as Lithuania, the Netherlands, Norway, and newer participants like Australia, Iceland, New Zealand, and Sweden. Together, these nine nations have provided more than 1 billion euros in aid through the IFU, with Norway alone contributing around $168 million since 2022. The first delivery of ammunition through this initiative, led by the Czech Republic, took place in June 2024, with 800,000 shells delivered to Ukraine. This initiative highlights the effectiveness of coordinated international support in ensuring Ukraine has the necessary resources for its defense. In addition to artillery ammunition, the IFU has also facilitated the delivery of advanced technologies, including reconnaissance and maritime drones, demoning systems, and air defense systems, all of which have played crucial roles in Ukraine's military operations. UK Defense Secretary John Healy emphasized the UK's dedication to accelerating military aid, acknowledging that British equipment continues to be instrumental in Ukraine's defense. He also highlighted the ongoing successes of Ukrainian forces on the battlefield, underscoring the vital importance of continued international support. The IFU's contributions are helping Ukraine resist Russian forces and maintain the integrity of its defenses. The recent increase in funding to the IFU underscores the strategic importance of this collective aid mechanism. The unity of allied nations in supporting Ukraine reflects the resilience of international efforts to counter Russian aggression. Beyond ammunition and equipment, the IFU plays a critical role in maintaining Ukraine's operational capacity and preventing Russian breakthroughs on the battlefield. The IFU remains a crucial conduit for military aid, ensuring that Ukraine receives not only essential supplies but also advanced technologies that enhance its ability to defend its territory and population from ongoing threats.